with the stories of two incredible women who set out to live healthier lives, each losing more than 100 pounds. They are now featured in people's 100 pound weight loss issue. We're about to see their transformations live and talk to them. But first, here's a look at their journey. 31 year old Victoria Brady battled with her weight all her life. My nickname growing up was Butterball. I was very insecure about that. I couldn't keep up when all the other kids would run and play. As she grew up, her weight began to hold her back. I was worried about putting myself out there due to my size. I found myself settling as a result of my weight because I felt like I wasn't worthy of what other people got. She topped out at 275 pounds after the birth of her first son. When the doctor stated that she was concerned with my son's weight at a year and a half, I knew it was time for me to make a change. 41-year-old Laura Rosenthal didn't have a problem with weight growing up. I played soccer, and so I was a very active kid. When I look back at those pictures, good grief, I would, you know, that was thin as could be. Then in her 20s, her weight started to climb. I definitely developed a lot of bad habits in my life. Just gorge on fast food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I remember coworkers would say, one of these days it's gonna catch up with you. At her highest, Laura was 271 pounds. I was getting just beat down by everything. My bones hurt, <laughs> you know, my knees hurt, my ankles hurt. When she turned 40, she decided it was time to make a change. I just thought, I am 100% committed to this, and I don't care how hard it is, I'm going to do it, and I am going to change my life. Now these women are half their size, and you can see their transformations right now. Unbelievable, let's hear it for Laura and Victoria, and People Editor Zoe Ruderman is with us now. And we have to say, this isn't so much about numbers on a scale, it's about making that choice to live healthier. Exactly, this is so much more than just the weight loss. These are full transformations. We feature women who get promotions after they lose the weight, they quit smoking, so they're really changing their lives, physically but also mentally. Absolutely, all right, is everybody ready to meet the ladies? First off, we have Laura. So she's the working mom who ate fast food, Mostly, it was this series. This series is what inspired her to make the change in her life. Her starting weight, just to remind you, 271.8 pounds. Laura, come on out. Wow. Thank you. Those were your jeans, and look at you now. I want to ask you, or I want you to share with everybody, you had a different method. A lot of people limit, but you did something very different. I did, so I I really avoided protein shakes and bars in my life because I, being on WW, I wanted to use my daily points to eat real food and more filling, filling meals. Yeah, you mm -hmm. wanted to eat. Absolutely. So, and a lot of people do cheat days. You went for a little slight, Reno I was gonna say renovation. <laughs> I've got decor on the mind. You changed that a little bit. I did. I really focused more on a cheat meal versus a cheat day. So Tuesday night after I weigh in, I go out and have dinner with my family and usually top it off with a chocolate chip cookie at the end. All right, and it worked because guys, <laughs> let's take a look at how much Laura lost on our big scale on the wall. Go ahead. Oh, oh, hey. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. All right, you. so now we're going to get to our other totally victorious Victoria. All right, so Victoria struggled with her weight since she was a child. Um, she was inspired to get healthy after giving birth to her second son. A reminder, her starting weight was 275. Victoria, come on out. Let's see how you look. <laughs> Old jeans, new Victoria. Congratulations. Thank you. Will you share with our audience, with anybody out there who's thinking about making this change, what worked for you? What worked for me was finding things that I could stick to. So something like healthy substitutes, for instance. Um, I'm a busy mom on the go, working full time. So for me, one thing that I found to substitute for my fave, which was blueberry muffins, was egg muffins. Something that you can yeah. add veggies in and like just a little straw. filling. Yeah, and they, it's perfect to eat on the go. And I see chocolate here, so you yes. don't deny yourself totally. At all. Um, I love candy bars, Reese's, Snickers. Mm -hmm. So a perfect yes, way yes, to yes. get that chocolate in for me was doing it with fruit, but dark chocolate. So I got Healthier. the best of both worlds. You sure did. Yeah. All right, so just a reminder, 275 pounds to get started. We're 
the birth of your second son inspired you. Yes. Let's take a look, everybody, on the big scale. How much Victoria lost? There it is. A hundred Come on, give us a You got to show everybody. Yes, honey. Yes. So, Zoe, you get a lot of people. Yeah, take your time. So get out there, Laura. Um, <laughs> These two really clicked for you and for people. Magazine. Yeah, again, this was about inspiring stories. And it's not just about seeing someone else who did it and thinking, oh, that's great for them. Let me celebrate them. These two women did something that other people can do. So it's about small changes, commitment, having a support system, and doing something that's sustainable, and also realizing there's no one size fits all. So yep. everyone does something a little bit differently. Amen to that. And baby steps really do add up. Lori, if you could give our audience one parting piece of advice, what would you say? I think, you know, my best uh, moment was just making the decision and being 100% committed no matter how hard it got. And if you and if you stumble, it's okay. Get back up and try again. Oh, it's a marathon, not a race. Yep. Absolutely. All right. And Victoria, your one piece of parting advice? Yes. Definitely do not give up on yourself. Don't look at what someone else is doing. Focus on you and find what works best for your lifestyle. Nothing is impossible unless you make it impossible. I love it. <laughs> Great advice from both of these ladies. Read all about them and others. People, hits newsstands nationwide on Friday. Check it out. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.